Okay, guys. So last week, I made a video on my top five E3 2018 announcements I didn't see coming. Now I'm going to be making a list of the top ten E3 2018 announcements I didn't see coming. And I'm going to be working to make this video even better than the original because uh, it was kind of weird because uh, I had a lot of cuts between it. But anyway, I'm going to be showing you my top ten E3 2018 announcements. So sit back, grab some popcorn, and enjoy. But not actually grab some popcorn. This is going to be a short list, but let's get into it. So we start this list at the number 10 spot, obviously, because every top 10 spot starts at 10, unless you're counting backwards. But anyways, my number 10 was usually number 5 in last week's list. It was the announcement of Super Mario Party. Now, if you don't know what Super Mario Party is, it's basically Mario Party 11, but it's Mario Party for the Switch. It's basically a rebirth of the Mario Party series, on me for Nintendo Switch, anytime, anywhere, play. And uh, you know how it goes. It's just a lot of games. It's just board down board games, dices, mini games, all that stuff. I just wonder what mini games it has. I'm always in for Mario Party things and mini games. I just don't know if they'll appeal to me or if they won't appeal to me, but I'm really excited for this game when it drops on it. Either I think it I think it drops on uh, October 2nd or uh, I think it either drops on October 2nd, which is gonna also be the release date of another game, which uh, I'll talk about later. Or it'll, or it comes out on November 6th. I'll check once I stop recording this video. At the number nine position, we have what well, was number four on the list, and it was kind of a coincidence because the last character in the name of the game was four. And it was at number nine. I have the announcement of Forza Horizon 4 now. Although I haven't managed to get my hands on one by myself, I am a pretty big fan of the Forza Horizon series, and um, yeah, I really wanted Forza Horizon 3, but I pretty much missed my chance. But however, I did get another chance thanks to the release schedule of Forza, which uh, one year it's a, it's a Forza Motorsport game, the next year it's a Forza Horizon game, hopefully in the future. But anyway, um, thanks to the release schedule, we're getting a Forza Horizon 4 on October 2nd, 2018. It will be set in Great England, not Great England, but England in general. But the big mechanic of this game is that there are going to be seasons that will change the way the, the cars behave and as well as the handling of the cars, as well as the gameplay. And it's easier to communicate with the other players because of the e free tweet I is. I, if you can go ahead and follow me, I retweeted some stuff from Xbox's e free presentation, but not even from Microsoft, from Sony, because I didn't find it newsworthy. Because I'm not pretty much interested in uh, uh, the PlayStation stuff at e free because I not I don't play my PS3, PS4 on my channel. However, I do have something PlayStation for all you guys out there. And number seven, I think it's number seven. I believe, oh, actually it's number eight. I, I messed up. But anyways, number eight is the announcement of a game called Beat Saber. Now, if you do not know what Beat Saber is, it's basically a, it, it's basically a virtual reality rhythm game where you use your controllers to try and slice these little boxes in the direction that they are, since they are with corresponding colors. And if, you, if you've seen Alex play this game, you should go check it out. I won't put a link in the description. You can just search it out, search up Beat Saber, and uh, Alex's video will be in the top hit. But anyway, I, it's a pretty interesting game. I don't know if I'm gonna be playing it on the channel, but this one's for you, PlayStation VR owners. This one is for sure for you. At number seven, well, it's, it's really number seven this time. I messed up last time, but apparently number seven is the announcement of Halo Infinite, the newest Halo game. Now, if you, I don't think you know this, but I apparently completed the, the normal mode on, I completed the normal difficulty on Halo, Halo 4 what, before I started the YouTube channel when I was really young, but I don't have any pictures, I don't want to show you any pictures when I was young, so I was going to just make fun of you, but I'm really excited for Halo Infinite to come out. Uh, I, don't, I don't think I'm going to be able to play it, but I just want to see gameplay from many different YouTubers. I think it's going to be a pretty good time when it drops. I don't know when it's going to drop, but it's going to be cool. At number six, we have one of the most surprising announcements I've ever seen. Although technically, I did see it coming a little bit because it was going rumored. Fortnite on the Switch. Now, what? Now, this was a surprise. I knew what was going to happen for a long time. During the Nintendo Direct E3 2018, there was a trailer for Fortnite, and uh, the best thing is it came out. It, it came out yesterday, which was the same day as the Nintendo Direct and everything. I don't think I'm going to be playing Fortnite on my YouTube or Twitch channels, but anyway, I'm still pretty pumped up for the game. I can't wait to play the Save the World mode anytime, anywhere. I just hope it, you don't need Wi-Fi to play Save the World anytime, anywhere, because uh, it would be really awesome to play Save the World anytime, anywhere. You just need an internet connection to play Battle Royale and stuff. You know, you need an 
that can actually play Battle Royale. At number five, we have the announcement of Tetris Effect. Now, this is the second PlayStation VR game. Now, there are two PSVR games announced. In a, a, I think another game that was announced there at the PlayStation press conference was a, a PSVR game. But anyway, Tetris Effect is basically the VR version of Tetris, where there basically there's just particle effects all over the place. There's tetrominals everywhere, it's waiting to be blocked up and um and slammed in the little rows to be uh, placed everywhere. And I think it, this could be a really fun game. If I actually have a HTC Vive, hopefully I can play this on another console like the uh, computer, like uh, from a, apparently from another thing like something else. I'm just apparently looking at a Magic 8 Ball right now. I'm just uh, being insane. As we get closer to number one, we just get even more and more announcements. So at the number four spot, we have the fact that if you buy a Pokeball Plus for the new Pokemon Let's Go games, you'll get a mythical Pokemon as your uh, prize for buying it. So I think prize. I don't know how to say it, but it's kind of like a prize. But uh, as announced in the Nintendo Direct, if you buy a Pokeball Plus for a limited time, you'll be able to gain an exclusive mythical Pokemon to join you on your quest. For Kanto, and it's just gonna be an amazing thing to rally with uh, this member of Pokemon to pretty much wreck everyone who comes at you. Hopefully, it's level 100, like uh, that Pokemon event from like 2016, where it was like Pokemon's 20th anniversary, and uh, obviously, uh, you know what happened right there. There was just a lot of Pokemon cards that were getting out for, uh, for four Pokemon games, and uh, apparently, I just I don't I have no idea what to do, so I'm really excited for this. So we're moving into the top three, and it was pretty difficult to go over, oh my gosh, coming over with the top three, and uh, the number three spot is the announcement of a new Xbox console coming sometime next year, hopefully sometime next year, and basically it's a brand new Xbox console, we do not have any information about it besides the fact that it's coming out soon, but it just could be the next big game console, it could be way more powerful than the Xbox One X, it could be one of the most powerful game consoles ever made. It could be a hybrid of, it could be a copy and paste of the Switch, it could be a copy and paste of the PS4, it could be a copy and paste of the handheld system, it could be a copy and paste of anything, but um, I, I don't think I'm expecting to see a handheld console out of, out of Microsoft, because I don't think there's a game for uh, consoles like uh, that. Of course the Cuphead DLC was going to make it a little bit. I knew the Cuphead was gonna make the Cuphead DLC was gonna make it. I, I was really pumped up for DLC when they announced it at uh, my, when Microsoft announced it at the press conference. I'm really excited to see what's up with all the what's up with all the characters and how they've been after since uh, the original game. And uh, I, I have a lot of work to do when 2019 comes along. It comes out in 2019, and that's why it's not a number one. There's, because it's coming out in 2019, I want this as soon as possible so I can just get all the game done as soon as possible. So that's why it's not number one. And uh, thanks to that little mishap from that Cuphead DLC, my number one uh, thing for this list is uh, the announcement of uh, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. This is the game I was pumped up for going into E3 2018. I've been wanting to play this for a long time, and uh, I had no idea how I was going to play. I had no idea there was going to be every single character in the game. And what? Why this is number one? Every single Super Smash Bros. character is going to be playable inside the game. And this we're also going to get some new characters, making it pretty much every single character that's in here in Super Smash Bros showed up here including new characters we know and uh, if you haven't seen the e free footage go watch it it's absolutely amazing and uh, i think this is a really great announcement because uh, uh super smash Bros. is one of my favorite fighting games of all time and i really cannot wait to play it come december and that is my top 10 e free 2018 announcements i did not see coming so thank you guys so much for watching this if you guys enjoyed this be sure to smash that like button and also be sure to subscribe to the channel to join the hashtag ngbg nation for new videos three times every single week. Aside from that, my name is Indubiji. We'll see you guys all in the next time for another video. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace.